What's up you guys, it's FlyHigh42069 here, and today I got something very special for y'all. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of my multi-film collections, but before we do that, you know how we roll here. Gotta take a dab before I even start. Let's get this little puppy up on there. And I'm just, it's just, I've just been collecting these for a while, and I was cleaning my uh, DVD shelf today. And I saw that I had like a lot of these like multi-film collections. So I was like, oh, I might as well, you know. Been wanting to do one for a while. Closer so y'all can see it. I'm gonna do a wrist check. Cheers. Alrighty. Just before I start showing y'all my collection, I just want y'all to know that this isn't in any particular order, but I did kind of try to group them together a little bit by genre. Um, and a lot of these I got at like Walmart and stuff like that. If I remember where I get it from, I'll let you know. But if I don't remember, it's most likely because it came, became, it came from Walmart. Alright. So, uh, we're going to start out with some funny movies. We got... Sorry. Animal House, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Dazed and Confused, and Weird Science. Those are always, sorry, let me get the lighting a little better. There we go. The, uh, now you can see it a little bit better. Uh, Animal House, Fast Times, at, yep, weird science. Uh, I picked this up for about five bucks at Walmart. Uh, it's pretty great. I didn't have any of these movies except for Fast Times at Ridgemont High. So I was like, you know what? Might as well pick it up. It's only five bucks. It's like, these are all very good movies. Love Animal House. Uh, classic John Belushi movie. He's great. That movie, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, is really funny. Love it. Just some great overall. Next we got 21 and 22 Jump Street. Some pretty great movies um not my favorite i like jonah hill a lot uh channing tatum's just all right you know what i mean not my favorite not not that bad all right now you're gonna start seeing uh some of my favorites like this i'm a, I'm a sucker for like stoner comedies uh this is the 40 year old virgin Knocked Up and Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Um, these are all connected and it's pretty great. Like, not exactly connected, but it, they feel like they are. And I just, I'm a sucker for Seth Rogen. 
I just think he's funny. I don't care if it's if he's just like <laughs> you know stupid stoner laughing. But yeah, Seth Rogen was great and knocked up. It's not my favorite. Like this isn't my favorite one. But, like it's all right. And like his trilogies that he does, he kind of seems to group them together. In a way. Uh, let's see. All right, next up we got Pineapple Express, Super Bad, Year One, and uh, Youth in Revolt. I have n I will not lie to you. I have not seen Year One, and I have not seen Youth in Revolt. But I love Pineapple Express, and I love Super Bad. I think Super Bad was the first rated R movie that like I ever watched parents' permission. <laughs> it was great. Uh, Pineapple Express is just, you know, classic stoner comedy. Everyone, if you're a stoner, you've seen Pineapple Express. It's just, you know, that's like top tier. Like, everyone's seen Pineapple Express. It's up there with, like, Mac and Devin go to high school and stuff like that. You know, just classic. It's, it's a classic now, I would say. Uh, next up, we got some Adam Sandler. We got Fifty First Dates and Big Daddy. Uh, I love Fifty First Dates. It's a it's a pretty great movie. And Big Daddy, I, I like a lot. But uh, I've seen it too many times. So, like, whenever I watch it, I'm kind of just like, I don't really want to watch it again. But Fifty First Dates, I could watch anytime. Like, fantastic movie. Great writing. Uh, I like the sound. I'm mean, sorry. I like the soundtrack. Yeah, that's right. got some more Adam Sandler coming up. We got the Happy uh, Happy Gilmore Billy Madison collection. I believe I got this one at a local store called Disc Replay. Uh, that's also where I got this one and this one and actually a lot of these came from Disc Replay. So yeah, uh, it's the widescreen edition. I, I kind of like what I, what I think I like widescreen better than full screen. Yeah. Because it keeps the original aspect ratio and it doesn't stretch it out. So I got lucky grabbing this collection. Love it. I think this is the OG one that came out, like, when these two both came out. Or a couple years after. Uh, 2004. Yeah. I think these came out a couple years after. Have to be Gilmore and Billy Madison. Sorry about the shaky camera. Uh, here's some... Now, here we're getting into, like, the actual, like, Laugh Out Loud collections. Uh, this one is Zombieland, not another teen movie, and 30 Minutes or Less. These are kind of on the same tier with, like, Seth Rogen stuff. Uh, like, I like Zombieland a lot. That's a really good movie. Uh, 30 Minutes or Less, I believe, was based on a true story that, like, actually happened. Of course, not, like, everything in the movie, but, uh, you know, it was pretty accurate, I think. Uh, yeah, this one was, I got this for my birthday, like, two years ago. Love it. Ah, uh, here's a good one. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Talladega Nights, Step Brothers, and the other guys. Uh, I love Talladega Nights. I love Step Brothers. The other guys on like on the compared to these two, it's it's not that great. I've seen the other guys way too many times, and it kind of aged terribly. But Talladega Nights will always make me laugh. Uh, Step Brothers always makes me laugh. It's just. Just two great, just three great movies. Uh, the other guys, yeah, it's all right. Got this one for like five bucks. Uh, this is Due Date and the Campaign. Uh, I watched Due Date. It's pretty great. Uh, I haven't seen the Campaign, 
Uh, but looks kind of good. It's got Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis in it. So like, so I guess this one's a Zach Galifianakis collection. Uh, yeah, I got this one for. I think I got this one for like five dollars too. Here's some good ones. I got. All right, so now we got the Austin Powers collection. I love Austin Powers, and my name's Austin, so everybody calls me Austin Powers. Uh, it's just great to be able to have like a full collection of movies just in like one DVD case like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. I think that my favorite Austin Powers would have to be uh, probably International Man of Mystery. That one is probably my favorite out of all three of them. But Goldfinger is like this, my second. And then I like, uh, uh, sorry, Goldmember. Ah, I apologize. And, and then it goes Austin Powers, the type. Alright. Got some more coming up. Just give me a sec, I gotta organize these a little better. Alright. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this one. I'm gonna go with the uh, American Pie 3 movie collection. Uh, just, just classic, classic movie that, uh, just a bunch of classic movies. They're just comedies, and, like, I love it, and, uh, I forgot what his, Jason Biggs. Jason Biggs will always be known as the guy who fucks, fucked the pie, and it's, it's just so funny. And they kind of went off, uh, after the three movies, the three first and just made a bunch of really weird movies that I haven't seen yet. So, I'll probably just stick with the first three American Pie movies. Coming up next, <laughs> I just wanted to include this because I got this in a $5 bin too. But it's Scooby-Doo 1 and 2. Uh, the live action movies, probably one of the best live action adaptations of a uh, of a cartoon that that you will ever see. Like it's great, perfectly casted. Matthew Lillard plays a great Shaggy in that movie. He's just he's just great in both of them. All right, so gonna have four movies left for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and take another dab real quick. We'll take this chance to move these movies a little bit. And I just want to talk a little bit about these multi-film collections. I've been collecting ever since I was a kid. And I think the first movie, like, I ever got was one of those multi-film collections. Because, like, why would you pay, like, $10 back in, like, 2008? Like, $10, $10 to rent a brand new movie when you can get, like three movies for five bucks at Walmart out of the bin and like I just love physical media because there's just something special there's there's just something special about you know having your hands on a physical physical something and like looking for something um I have up above me back there I have one of the family video uh one of the family video signs. It's the rent three, get one free. And I got a couple other ones around the room, but family video will just be missed. Like, Friday nights will never be the same now because of streaming companies. And like, 
There's just no need for it. Plus COVID. That family video will surely make me miss. I really will miss family video. Used to go there every day. Sorry, it's all, I'm going off on a little tangent, but it's kind of, just kind of reminded me of that. That was what kind of sparked my interest in movies in general, was going to family video and just looking at movies. Like, you didn't just get it, just didn't just get to pick something and be like, oh, I don't like this, I'm just going to switch it to something else. Nah, you pick a movie, you're going you're gonna to stay with that for the weekend. Those are, those are your, you know, three movies for the weekend. And me and all my brothers would always get, uh, like, the free family movies, or the free kids movies. Those ones were always great. And, like, their marketing strategy was just, was just crazy. Like, renting a movie for five nights for a dollar, that's crazy. Like, what company would do that now? Like, if you work that out, it's four dollars a month. If you want to get, if you want to get one movie a week for five days, it's a dollar per week, four dollars a month. But you could also, I believe, they also had memberships, but I wasn't old enough to get one, so I never did. Cheers. not gonna get sticky like I'm talking to myself in the mirror it's the bad way to do that <coughs> <coughs> that's the most like yes <coughs> mm. all right so now we're gonna be going off into the best for last got four left This is one of my favorites. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> yeah. It's a six movie Nickelodeon collection. I got this out of the 325 bin, I believe, at Walmart. It comes with the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, the Rugrats movie, Hey Arnold the movie. The Wild Thornberries movie, Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, and Barnyard. Like, that's all of my childhood, favorite childhood shows compressed into one great package. And, like, I will always have this. Like, pro and probably until the day I die, I will have this movie. And you can't say the same about Netflix. They could take it off Netflix tomorrow. You know what I mean? Or like, something could happen. Lose the cut licensing rights. But I'll never lose the licensing rights to this motherfucking movie that I own. Alright, come up next we got <coughs> the Wolf, uh, Will Smith collection. Uh, we got Hitch, Hancock, Seven Pounds, and Pursuit of Happiness. I believe this one was nine dollars. A uh, Hitch, very good movie. Love it. Uh, Hancock, it's really good. I've seen it too many times though, like all the time. Uh, Seven Pounds was really emotional, uh, made me cry. Seven, The Pursuit of Happiness was really good too, it made me cry as well. Uh, not ashamed to say that. Last week, uh, 
it's the Shawshank Redemption and the Green Mile. Both really, really good movies. I love both of these movies to death. My favorite movies. They're really good. I just, I just love them. And, and last but not least, we have Goodfellas and The Departed. I love Goodfellas. And, like, I might get a lot of hate for saying for saying this, but, uh, I've never seen The Departed. Goodfellas is really good. I love it. Like, one of my favorite gangster movies of all time. Yeah, so, uh, I think I'm just gonna go through right now and, uh, tell you which ones are worth it and like which ones you should probably stay away from uh okay so for sure if you see the austin powers collection pick it up can't ban the due date if you like Zal zach galifianakis you should probably pick that up but the, i'm not really that much of a zach galifianakis fan so i'm gonna put that one off to the side talladega knights and stepbrothers and the other guys i'm gonna put them essential you need these movies if you don't already have them. Zombie Land, not another teen movie, 30 minutes or less. Definitely worth it just for Zombie Land alone. Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison. Um, probably not this one specifically because they probably have a bundle now. Like the Laugh Out Loud packs, they seem to do a lot of Adam Sandler. So there's probably one with like two more Adam Sandler movies that you should look out for. But you should get it if you just like those movies. Fifty First Dates and Big Daddy. Again, these ones are really abundant. You'll see these like at Walmart, like right when you walk into the section. So I would get it, but they probably have more bundled in there now, you know what I mean? Pineapple Express, super bad year one. Definitely get Four Year Old Virgin. Definitely Twenty One Twenty One Two Jump Street. You better get them because that's perfect comedy. They're all great. And Scooby Doo, essential. Uh, but I would not say that you you have to add it to your collections. This one you definitely have to. The six movie uh, Nickelodeon collection you definitely have to get. Will Smith, if you like Will Smith, this is essential. He's not my favorite actor, so I'll put him in the non-essential slot the pile. You may disagree with me, but it's whatever. Shawshank Redemption and The Green Mile. If you like prison movies, this is essential. I love prison movies, so I'm going to put that in the essential pile. American Pie 3 movie pack. If you like comedies, you definitely want to get the first three of this. I don't know if they have another collection yet with like the next three movies or like the next six movies or something. But if you see that one, you don't need that one specifically. Just get the first three. I would say that's essential. Okay. I'd say that the, the Departed and Goodfellas, that's essential. And Animal House, Fast Times, Original High, and Days and Confused and Weird Science. I would say this is essential, especially for five bucks definitely do it again. Alrighty. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all have a great day.